What's up guys, welcome back to my channel, my name is Alex, uh, and today I want to be able to talk to you about something that may be something that you may not be aware of, or you may need to be reminded of, um, but if this is your first time here, uh, I want to welcome you to my channel, uh, my name is Alex, like I said, and uh, I'm here delivering the message of Jesus Christ. I'm here to give it to you in a simple way, but to help you to try and understand where you are currently in your life. And I pray that the Spirit of the Lord uses me to minister to you um, and to encourage you in this time. If you like what you hear uh, and you like what you see and you would like to support me, please hit that subscribe button because, uh, you know, I want to be able to get this out there to as many people as I possibly can and I can use your help. And also, uh, if you want to um, be able to know when I post my next video, just hit that bell notifications and it will let you know every single time I post a new video. Praise the Lord. Well, today, um, the Lord truly ministered to me in a very uh, powerful way. He always seems to, to minister to me um, in this way, especially more today. Um, and I'm going to tell you why, because I've chosen many of the things that I used to do uh, in my past, I no longer do them. You know, like there's a lot of little things that a lot of people may look at, you know, in their life and say, oh, well, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's not my conviction. And that's cool. You know, I mean, if that's where that person is, then that's where that person is if that's where you are well then that's where you are but for me personally like sports anything to do with sports I used to love watching football basketball hockey um you know uh boxing MMA you know all of that I used to love watching that stuff and I really got into it, you know, and I mean, I still support the teams because let me tell you, I'm a big Bay Area fan. So, you know, the Giants, the A's, um, the Niners, the Warriors, you know, the Sharks, they're all great, uh, you know, teams that I still support, but I no longer follow them. I don't keep track of what's going on stats names you know who's coming onto the team who's leaving the team i don't keep track of any of that and the reason is is because a lot of it is just distraction for me and it kind of opens it up for me to be able to spend more time with god if you know what i mean and so it's things like that that i've actually gotten away from i don't watch tv no more i don't watch any programs anymore um there are movies that I may go and watch, you know, with my kids and stuff, but I make sure that it's not going to be anything that's going to, you know, um, uh, lead them to some kind of bad dream or some kind of demonic movies. Now, I'll tell you, I mean, I can definitely make some other video and talk to you about some of these movies today that they're making, Um you know, and we got to be careful with a lot of this stuff, but I want to quickly share this and I want to do more of these. If you guys like these, let me know in the comments uh, and I'll continue to make these. Uh, but I want to make these like little devotions for, for many of you, you know, and this is a thought. It's it's what's in my heart and I want to be able to share this with you. Um, so I don't know what to really call this slash podcast slash you know, devotion, whatever the case may be, it is what it is. And I just want to bring you a word. Um, but I want to read, uh, from Genesis, uh, the third chapter, and I'm going to be reading out of the new American standard, uh, translation. And it reads like this, starting in verse one. Now the serpent was more crafty than any beast of the field, which the Lord God had made. And he said to the woman, indeed, God, God said, you shall not eat from the tree of the garden. The woman said to the serpent, from the fruit of the tree of the garden, we may eat, 
But from the fruit of the tree, which is in the middle of the garden, God said, you shall not eat or touch it or you will die. So immediately we see that Eve was very well aware of the fruit she was forbidden to touch and eat, right? We see that she was already well aware of it. She knew of it, but she still ate of it. Now, I want us to look at everything that God had created. God created heaven and earth, everything that we could ever want in our lives, right? He created every single thing. And I mean, I, I, I'm just going to try and put myself in a place where it's like, you know, to give you a, somewhat of a picture, like what else would they need? Oh, yeah, let's get them some trees. Oh, yeah, let's let's make them really high mountains. And, you know, let's make them some great streams and great fishing ponds. And let's place this mass ocean so that they can explore the deep. And, you know, let's let's make these really great green pastures for animals and they can grow chickens and cows and whatever else. So you you could imagine what was in the mind and heart of God for you and I when he created us and he made sure that we were not going to lack anything, that we were going to have more than we could ever have asked for. We were able to look up in the sky and see all the beautiful birds with all the wonderful colors all the different insects, all the different animals, from slithering to crawling on all four to flying in the air, you know, just everything. And then he goes and he creates this garden and he says, okay, now I want you to work out this, work this garden. This is your job right here. Make sure you keep it up. And for the, for those of you that have a green thumb, I'm sure you know what this is about. You know, you got to really make your, 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 your garden look the way it is because if not you know your your vegetables or your fruits or whatnot they're not going to be very good so god said this is your job this is what i want you to focus on he says but that over there don't go there don't touch that and out of everything that they could have wanted they wanted what they couldn't have I pray that that is sinking into your heart and mind right now because I'm sure that somebody right now is grabbing a hold of this and you're saying, I shouldn't be doing this. And there is something, there is something, believe me, I do the same thing. And there is something that you shouldn't be getting into that is forbidden for you to do. Now, maybe somebody else, God whatever the case is between them and whoever else, but you, my friend, it's forbidden because you know what it causes you to do. You know what it does to you when you do this. And I wanted to share this with someone here today, and I know it's a small devotion, but it's a heavy one because the devil will always get you to look at what is forbidden for you to eat, to eat it. And this is where he has gotten many today. His greatest weapon of choice is deception. He will get, I mean, let's, let's just put it like this. Why do you think he created window shopping? Why do you think window shopping is so effective today? It is so effective today and we see billboards, we see signs, we see commercials, we see mannequins dressed in these clothing. And everywhere we walk by, the next time you go by a mall or whatever the case may be, just look at it through the eyes of God. And a lot of the times we are so unaware of how the enemy is getting us to look at what we shouldn't have. You don't need that extra bag. You don't need those extra pair of shoes. You don't need to go and do that. You don't need to go and buy that. But because it's there and the devil is presenting it to you, I think you know what I'm saying. 
And the devil is lying to us. He's lying to you. He's lying to many around the world. And the Bible says, this is what the word of God tells us, that um, where your treasure is, is where your heart will be also. And where Adam and Eve's heart was, was in that forbidden fruit, even though they knew they weren't supposed to eat of it. They still chose to. I know many people argue about this and they go back and forth. I'm not talking about all that. I'm talking about the choices that we're making. I know there are people that like to get into all the legalism and all the, 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 you know, the theology behind it all and all of this. You know, I don't like to get it. I just, I, I like to look at the choices that we're making and why we're making them and who's behind making it. And the devil is behind many of the things that we are choosing to do today because we're not choosing to do what God has for us. And I know for a fact, and this is what the Bible tells us, okay? This is why Jesus really, really pushed this issue. Don't get deceived from the truth. I've already told you everything you needed to know. I've given you the instructions. I've anointed you. I've encouraged you. I've rebuked you. And I've showed you the way. And there's it's a very narrow road to get there. And I'm making it very narrow to make it easy for you to get there. Because there's not a lot of stuff I want you to get involved with. I want you to do one thing. And that is to love me. That is to give me your heart, mind, and soul. And I believe that today around the world, there are many who haven't given their full heart, mind, and soul to Christ. I don't know where you are today. I don't know where you're at in your walk with the Lord. But I want to tell you that one thing for sure is that the devil is more crafty than any beast God made. And when we read, as we continue to read there in verse 4, of chapter 3 of Genesis, this is what he says. The serpent said to the woman, you, you, surely, you surely will not die, for God knows that in the day you eat from in the day you eat from it, your eyes will be open and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. These are the things, this is the voices that we hear. Oh, maybe it isn't too bad. Oh, it, 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 it'll be all right. And we look at other influencers. We look at other preachers, pastors, and we look at other churches around the world. And we're taking a little bit from them. And we're saying, well, if they're doing it, it must be okay. And this is the mistake that Adam did, made. Because he saw that the woman God gave him did it. So he figured, well, I might as well join her. I'm going to wind up making this into a message. But I want to tell you today, be on your guard. Be watchful. And if anything, and I'm going to definitely make a video about this. Don't go around grabbing everything everyone is saying. Don't go say, oh, I'm going to listen to this guy. Oh, I'm going to listen to this guy. Oh, I'm going to follow this guy. Oh, I'm going to follow. And the next thing you know, you're getting all of this information from all of these people because I like what he says. I like what she says. I like what they talk about. I like what they talk about. And they're giving you all of this information and there is something dangerous about that. I know that there is and you should be getting fed by one person and that is the Holy Spirit. I don't care how good someone sounds, the devil will always try to sound better. He's always going to try and outdo God. Always. And people rather give us a really good saying that sounds really good than to give us God's word. People like other people the way they speak because they say good things. But they're not speaking the truth. It just sounds good. Oh, I like what they said. Oh, let's do this. And so they take a little snip of what they said and they post just that. 
It's just like going into the scripture and you get one verse out of the entire story and you use that to describe the situation in your life. And you can't do that. So today I want to encourage somebody to be watchful, to be praying because the devil is out there deceiving many and if there's anything he wants to do my friend is to get you to take your eyes off of what God is giving you to have to put it on the one thing you can't and many people rather have that they'll go through leaps and bounds to go after what they can't have rather than to look at what God has already provided I pray that this has blessed you today. I pray that this has encouraged you again. If this is your first time here, I welcome you. I pray for you. I bless you. If you if you need prayer, please let me know in the comments. I also want you guys to let me know. Hey, if you guys want more of these, I'll make more of these. It's only a few moments, just a few moments of your time. You can watch this while you're going to work or on your break or even in the morning as you're getting ready. If you want more of these, please let me know. And I'll post them. I'll post them on my Facebook, on my TikTok, on my Instagram. I don't know if I can post them on Instagram, but I'll, I'll try. But I want you to know that God has already provided everything you need. Amen. God bless you. Stay strong. Stay guarded. And I'll see you on the next video.